I'm Simon Ditchburn, I'm the Managing Director of the Tudor Group of Companies. It's 8am in the morning and 20 wall panels have just arrived. We're unloading the first of the panels here from the back of the truck. We've got the tower crane in position, but I can't just put those in an open area. Believe it or not, if we grouped all of those walls together just as a storage area, you'd actually be too heavy. You would break down through the floor. So on the back side, we've had to create a framework as a holding area for the walls to go into first until we crane them into position of where they're supposed to go. With some of my off-cut steel, my two and my four inch steel that we've been using on forming these floors, we've created a store area and a frame. So I can lift the wall panels down into the framework, keeping them upright until they're actually ready to be used and put into the position where they really belong. Well, with the walls now arriving on site, I can actually go ahead with the installation. Now, the first job on the list is to actually spray the architect's plan on the floor. It's all surveyed, it's all labelled exactly what wall is what, and this gives me an opportunity that if we do have to make some alterations, I'd rather be moving the spray paint than moving the walls. So it's a really good idea to spray that out first. Now, the first walls that will go into position are the 15 centimetre walls which make the perimeter of the entire apartment. Now these are 15 centimetres thick with the largest amount of foam in the middle and these are the ones that make sure you can't listen to your next door neighbour's television or whatever they're going on with. Now I'll take you through the installation of how exactly we pin those in place but basically we work from the outside inwards. Okay it's hard hat time now as we're right next to the action and uh, well, basically, if that wall was to topple over, the hard hat's not going to help me. I'm going to end up being a jam sandwich. I don't know about a concrete sandwich. But basically, the crane, as you can see, brings it into the position. But we leave the wall panel held on the strops, so the crane stays exactly where it is. That gives us enough time to actually get the stays in position. Now the stays will lock into the wall itself and it's bolted in place. It locks into the floor, equally it's bolted. And these stays are adjustable so that we can bring the wall into its upright position. So as long as my level is working, I've got no excuses for crooked walls. With the wall now in position, we actually lock everything together using welding. Now, the factory has given us steel dowels which are welded within the steel reinforcing within the wall and we drill in a steel dowel into the floor. The two are then welded together. Now this will be at the bottom of the wall and also at the top of the wall. That locks everything together. At a later stage, the automatic building of the actual building, we will come in with our floor screed of cement with our tiles on top, which completely locks the bottom 100%. And then equally with the ceilings coming in position, it's locking all of the top. Now in the corners, we will use an angle bracket we'll chisel out exactly where we want the angle bracket and these brackets will be welded again into the reinforcing steel within the wall. I think you can see that with this type of process, with this construction system, we can do things in a matter of days instead of weeks. We're already 60% through the installation of one floor. Now, the next part 
is once again we've got to put all the scaffolding back in we've got to make the mold for the next floor and basically repeat this process floor by floor right the way up through but now with this construction in place I can now open up the other items of the pipe work and actually start putting in the cables for the electric so as we go up one floor with the concrete construction at exactly the same time one floor below me will start all the electrics and water so that's basically where we're going to take you on the next video so I'll see you then